before uh, giving video solutions to some typical uh, gate problems in the MOSFET area. Some key points are discussed uh, here uh, which are helpful for the solution of uh, uh, problems to be considered. To summarize, this uh, involves a new symbol for MOSFETs in use these days, MOSFET equations in various operating uh, regions like uh, cutoff, linear and saturation. For both uh, P and N MOSFETs, MOSFET as a variable register and the last is on CMOS, a very important application of MOSFETs. So we start with the uh, different key points uh, uh, which need to be considered here which will be helpful for our uh, uh, problem solution. Uh, firstly is the first point is regarding the new symbol. This is the new symbol for n-channel MOSFET. It's obvious here this is a drain, this is source, this is gate, the VDS and the corresponding polarities are being indicated here. This is another uh, a varied uh, symbol, a different kind of symbol for the P mass. Here this source is up, this is a drain and this is a gate. This is also a symbol which is very frequently used uh, with the MOSFETs. Now uh, the other important uh, part here is the uh, MOSFET equations. These MOSFET equations are very much helpful for solution of uh, uh, various uh, problems which we will be considering here. Uh, you can notice here this first column gives me the region, whether it's a cutoff region, this is a linear region or saturation region. The saturation region is also called as an active region. And this is for the N mass and this corresponds to P mass. So we can see here for a cutoff, VG is less than V threshold, IDS is zero. That's a cutoff for the N mass, VGS less than magnitude of V threshold, and ISD equals to zero. This is the cutoff region. Linear region is VGS greater than V threshold, and VDS is less than VGS minus V threshold. This is the condition for the linear region, and the corresponding uh, equation for the drain current is this is mu n C U X. W by L, uh, VGS minus V threshold into VDS minus VDS squared over 2. This is the equation for the uh, um, uh, drain uh, current for the linear region. Now, uh, if we see here for the P mass, the similar equation here says VSG should be greater than V threshold magnitude and VSD should be less than VSG minus V threshold magnitude. This will be the linear region for P mass and this is the current ISD is given by mu P C X W by L VSG minus V threshold VSD minus VSD whole square divided by 2. So this is uh, uh, these uh, corresponding equations for uh, N and P types for the linear region. The equation for the saturation region is the condition is that VGS should be greater than V threshold and VDS should be greater than VGS minus V threshold for the N type of uh, MOSFET and the current equation is here IDS half mu N C U X W by L VGS minus V threshold and uh, for the P MOS VSG is greater than V threshold magnitude VST and IST, the current is given half mu P, C U X W by L, V S G minus V threshold whole squared. 
these equations uh, have been quite helpful uh, because most of the problems which will be considered here or which have come in the gate are based on these uh, uh, various uh, regions operations for the MOSFETs. So these equations are very helpful to understand uh, those problems. Now uh, we see the third important point is MOSFET uh, a variable register. That means uh, this MOSFET acts as a variable register. Uh, this uh, the connection of here is that gate is connected to drain. So basically, it is working as a uh, a two terminal device, a two terminal device, and then uh, you can really uh, find out the resistance at uh, different points. So this RDS drain resistance is given a VDS active over ID active. So this region is said to be the saturation region or also said to be the active region. So this resistance is given here for point A. We have calculated here RDS is 15 by 3 milliampere, that's 5 kilo ohms. Similarly for point B you can calculate 6.10 over ohm line 6 milliamperes, 6. 2, 5 kilo ohms. Similarly, for C also it be calculated. So this basically it's uh, working as a variable register, and uh, a good number of problems have come uh, for such type of uh, circuit. Now the another most important circuit which we are considering here is the CMOS, which is also said to be complementary MOS. That means here two types of MOS. Uh, transistors are used. One is the PMOS or the another MOS. So that's what they are complementary circuits. So it's uh, said extremely low power consumption. M1 here is, uh, sorry, M1 here is a PMOS and M2 is here NMOS and one of the uh, important advantage for CMOS circuits is they give a extremely low power consumptions and they are very popular and they are being used in uh, you know, most of the digital circuits. So devices are complementary, that's why the name is complementary and uh, that is equal and opposite values of like uh, VGS threshold, VGS on, ID on and so on. So these parameters or these uh, transistors are equal and opposite because one is of P type and there is for N type. So this uh, circuit uh, would also be encountered uh, many times in uh, the problems to be considered. Uh, the problems which are being selected here are the uh, problems uh, which are a typical kind of problems of uh, different years. A set of five problems is taken here so that uh, all variations uh, of the problems are covered so that you can uh, uh, be competent enough to solve the problems if they are coming on a uh, similar pattern. Thank you.